Yo, what's good people? Welcome to episode 9 of Raven 101. Today we're going to be talking about punishment. So we're going to cover standing punishment, while standing punishment, and optimized punishment. So I know that Raven has a few moves that are the same frame, but I'm going to just explain what situations you would use each punish for. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Like it will help with the algorithm. Comment it will help with the algorithm. And subscribe will let me know that you enjoy the content. Let's get into it. Okay, so Raven's 10 frame punish. He has two. So he has one, two, which has more range than two jab. One, two would be your 10 frame for moves that push back a little bit, but are minus 10 or minus 11. So you have one, two, but his best 10 frame punish is actually two, four. Now two, four does 25 damage, but you can go into crouch dash from two, four by just pressing nothing, or you can Cancel crouch dash with holding back. So I usually cancel the crouch dash by holding back. And he's plus 8 at this situation. Now, it does a war stagger. So he'll be plus 16. Nothing guaranteed, but just more plus. Because this actually war splat in second 7. So they took the war splat away and made it a war crush. His 12 frame would be 4-1. So this was made better in this game. More plus on hit. So now it's plus 7 on hit. Those two advantage frames really do make the difference. Because now... This is a, is a, is a pure mix-up. So back turn, back 2-4. Back turn, forward 4-1. Four, These are actually both mix-ups now. Like, the opponent can't press in between this block string. So that's massive for Raven players and punishment with 4-1. It has quite a lot of range as well. Especially with punishment, it, it has decent range. Not crazy range. That comes from down back 2-1. But... His 4-1 does have really, really good range. His 13 frame punish is down back to 1. So this move is plus 8 on hit. Really good range. And super plus on hit. So, and it's an elbow. So, you know, sometimes if you might be late on the punish, some people might try to parry. There's no, you know, risk of you getting parried because most characters can't actually parry your Sabaki elbow attacks. So this one is really, really good. One thing to mention about down back 2-1 is that you can go into soul zone from down back 2-1. So you're actually plus 5 in this situation. So this is really, really good. Super strong. His best 14 frame punish by far is down forward 1-4. So down forward 1-4 has quite a bit of range. Like the range is really good. So you don't really have to worry about range with this move because the range is great. Even though... The move itself looks like it doesn't have range, but it actually does because it propels Raven forward for the punish. So most likely than not, you are going to punish. And it does 38 damage down forward 1-4. And it will splat. So at the wall, if, for example, they do something punishable, you know, you're going to get a big juicy punish. You know, and that's without heat, rage, and stuff like that. So yeah, down forward 1-4 is honestly one of his better punishes. And it's really good for whiff punishment as well. So Raven does not actually have a 15 frame launcher. So that's one of his weaknesses in punishment. So as you can see, down forward 2 starts at 16 frame. So what can you actually do for 15 frames? Now that punish would be down forward 4, four 3. Now for longer range punishment, you would use forward 2, 3. So for stuff that pushes back, you would use forward 2, 3. And for like, you know, rage arts or stuff that like lure down 2, 3, stuff like that down forward 443 and this is guaranteed they can't actually get out of that so this does 48 damage so 31 plus 17 is 48 so yeah super strong punish as 15 frames one other one you can do is forward four forward four two but again why would you use that when you can just do this right okay so the punish down forward 443 and as you can see it will flash orange in the frames as a punish. So that's how you can tell that it's a punish. Really not a hard punish. You can just mash down forward four. To make sure that you don't mess it up. So it's it's quite an easy punish for Rage Arts. As you can see here. So definitely a consistent punish for a 15 frame. And then lastly is his launch, which is down forward two. So you can do down for two or down for two, three. Pretty consistent. You can also hit confirm the down for two. Look how long I have. So he has down for two, right? And he has 
down for two three so this is useful if you want to do wave dash but you want to hit confirm the three because they made this easier to duck launch so like yeah i wouldn't recommend throwing this out but you can slightly delay the three i mean you can delay it by quite a bit look how look how long i'm taking to press the three and it's still coming out so you can definitely hit confirm this it's really not a problem so yeah that's down for two and down for two three at 16 frames so that would be his 16 frame launch now let's look at optimizing punishment victor's forward forward two for example is launch on block but raven can't actually punish it if it's spaced so how do you deal with this move stuff like jack's down forward one string where he goes really far away and has a lot of pushback how do you deal with those strings i'm going to show you so victor's forward forward two can have a lot of pushback so I'm going to try and space myself to be, yeah. So look, if I block it now, down for two is not going to launch or the active frames are going to become too slow to launch it. You see, so I can't actually launch this move. So you can do this as a punish. You can do forward four as a punish. You can do down back two one as a punish, but you can actually launch Victor for this. And the move you would use to launch Victor is forward forward three. So as you can see, the knee itself is 15 frames. Now, this move is a forward forward input, but as, as you know, we can actually buffer the first forward in block stun. So you can actually buffer forward forward three to come out at 16 frames. As you can see there, punish. It is very difficult. So this is the way you would optimize this punish to actually launch Victor for forward forward two. Now, it is very difficult because as you saw there, it says the attack start of frames is 15 frames. So that means this move is a forward forward, right? So this move can't possibly be 15 frames unless it's buffered. So you can actually buffer the first forward in block stun. Okay, so Asuka's back three is minus 19 on block. So this would be a consistent punish, but you can just use forward forward three to punish it. It's quite consistent because it gives you enough frames to, you know, punish the move reliably. See what I mean? I was late then. I still punished it. So, yeah, again, down for two wouldn't launch this move. So I can't actually use that to launch. I'd have to use something else like forward forward three, for example. And it's quite consistent punish. So that's how to deal with back three. Now, there is one last punish from stand that I use. And that's forward one plus two and that's 18 frames and i use that for very very long range moves so you can actually use that move to punish asuka's back three as you can see punish and you go into heat and then in heat you can do back three as a 48 damage long range punish okay so this is the string I'm talking about. This string is minus 18. This is always a consistent punish because this move is actually 18 frames of perfect punish. You can just mash the punish and it's it will always punish. So those are Raven's punish tools from Stan. Let's look at full crouch. So while standing punishment, not much to say. Up until 14 frames, he has while standing four. So that's his 11 frame, 12 frame and 13 frame punish. And then 14 frames is where he can launch. So he can launch stuff like Jin's down two, which is minus 14. So that's, uh, you know, a strong element of Raven's uh, full crouch punishment or while standing punishment is that he gets to launch people at 14 frames or minus 14. Let's say, for example, you block a hell sweep or, you know, a full crouch sweep or something like that. How do you optimize the punishment? Because yes, you could just do while standing one, but there's other options you could actually do. So I'm going to show you that. And this combo does more damage than while standing one. So let's do the same combo. With while standing one. And you're going to see the damage will not be 90 damage. 84. So quite a chunk more for doing forward forward three. As a punish. As you can see there. So this is very consistent. Yeah, overall... 
Raven's punishment has been buffed. Downfall 1 4 is such a nice punish at 14 frames, wall splats. So, again, yeah, Raven's punishment is really, really strong. I think there are some holes, like he doesn't have a good, you know, 12 frame or 13 frame while standing punishment option. But I think if they gave him that, his punishment would be ridiculous. So, I think all they need to do is just make this a more consistent punish because this becomes I 12 at, you know, quite quickly, as you can see there. It becomes I 12 quite quickly and so there are some safe lows against raven that are not safe against anyone else but yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode with punishment if you have any questions leave them in the comments that was raven's punishment hope you enjoyed peace